What's up, everybody? John Dyer Wolf here, and welcome to Poke Talk. Now, as we all know, I started Poke Talk a while back. I haven't done it for a while. For you, it'll be another solo episode of Poke Talk. Just to give you guys a quick update on what my Pokemon team is. Because, as we all know, I haven't been doing Pokemon Go videos, and I am sorry about that. I will be doing Pokemon Go again. Just, it's been insane. Pokemon Go, well, it's a real fun game to get out of the house with. I love going to different places with my friends, but... I've been so busy job hunting because my parents said I'm not allowed to really go Pokemon hunting until I get a job. So, I gotta go job hunting and get a job and all that. So, I can do Pokemon Go. Basically that. Now as you can tell from my background image here. We're going to have my good friend Aerodactyl and a few other Pokemon in the background there. And they're going to just give you a quick preview, I would say, of my team. And what's been going on with it. Now as you might notice, the Pokemon changed. This time it's my new Electabuzz. And Electabuzz is a cool Pokemon. I just got it out of a 10 kilometer egg. And yes, I said a 10 kilometer egg, that level, no candies used. Hold on one second. There's the proof right there. There should be 30 candies in one of these directions somewhere below me. So hopefully you all believe me on that. And yeah, back to it. Electabuzz is going to be a cool new part of my team. Originally, I was going for a full Eevee team because I have my Flareon, my Jolteon, my Vaporeon. But with this, I think I'm going to have a better powerhouse because... Wow. That level just getting out of the egg. And there's way more that has happened. For example, this right here is my current team. Currently, it consists of my Blazer, aka Flareon, Vapes, aka Vaporeon, which I haven't renamed. I I want to rename them, but I sure don't. So, Vapes might be a nickname I just give it without changing it. Golduck, just because, well, he's level 1000 when I evolved him, so hell yeah, he's going to be part of my team. Electabuzz, which is brand new. Just hatched, like, a few hours ago. Yeah, because I'm doing the Poke Talk at 3 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, three hours ago. So, I hatched them at midnight. A few other Pokemon here. I have another 2K egg that I've almost got completed from my walk. Um... Now I'm going to try to do something here, so just give me one second. It's going to be a few minutes in real life. Wait, what am I doing? I just realized. I cut the team short there. She's talking about Electabuzz. Of course, there's my Blast Toys, which I cut in traditions by the Tin Fish at night. Cypher. Which I caught in a Walmart parking lot when I was Pokemon hunting with Becca. And I know I said I wasn't allowed to go Pokemon hunting until I got a job. But. That was the exception to it because I had pre-planned it. And my camera went dead and I just couldn't record it. I was going to record it on my phone, but there was too many good Pokemon out there, and every time I tried to, there's a lag spike and a curveballed. All the Pokemon curve, all the Pokeballs curveballed. Wow. Words. Okay. As we can all see here, I got a pincher. I'm not sure if I had one of those by the last one of my last videos or not, but. He's a really cool addition to the team. 
pretty powerful, so I'd say, hell yeah, join the team, Pincher. Time to crush your opponents. I got my Fearow right here, which I was going to evolve a Spearow, take all that time to collect that candy, and bam, I was in Fort Pierce and I caught a Fearow. So, heck yeah, I'm going to take it. No complaints here. And finally, one of the prizes of my catches this week, Dragonair. Now, I caught my last Dratini to evolve it, but I also saw a Wild Dragonair. Problem is, I ran out of Pokeballs twice, I had to hit Pokestops twice, and finally, after the second time I had to leave to get Pokeballs, it disappeared. Oh, we've all been through that. So, sadly, Dragonair got away, but same day, evolved one just as strong as the one I was trying to catch. So, hell yeah. I'll take it. Now, we're going to keep vapes up here on the screen for the rest of this because that's what I do for most of my Poke Talk videos. Now, about... Now, I want to talk about some things. Okay. To all you teams that are having rivalries right now, I'm Team Instinct. Honestly, we all know Team Instinct really doesn't care about Team Valor, Team Mystic, their whole conflict. Basically, Team Instinct, we're going to turn it into Team Harmony eventually. Or there's going to be a Team Harmony made. No doubt that's going to happen in the future. But, um... I mean, seriously, the rivalry with Pokemon Go has been getting a little bit, been going a little bit far. Truthfully, there's vandalism going on in some parks. For example, um, and this might not even be related to the team thing, but I'm bringing it up when I'm talking about vandalism right now. Over at Indian River Park. Some dumbasses. And I'm saying that. I mean seriously. I usually don't say that during one of my Pokemon videos. But. They messed with the fountain. They did graffiti in places. I mean seriously people. Are you really gonna mess up public property for a game. I know it's a freaking awesome game, but it's a game. It's supposed to be for fun. Why would you mess up public property for that? Now they put a curfew on Indian River Park to where it's 11 o'clock if the latest people can be out there. And I mean, seriously. First they do it to Traditions, then they do it to, um, well, most parks have a curfew anyway. But, first they do it to, blah, 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 words. First they do it to Traditions, then they do it to the other parks. Now they, then they do it to the Community Center. And I'm pretty sure the Community Center did a curfew. Actually, Community Center has locked down most of its rooms during the day. Because of this whole Pokemon thing. I'm like. Really? Really? Someone must have done something there. But. Pokemon Go is a fun game. And some people are taking it way too seriously. And ruining it. For the rest of us at least. I'm going to read something off of a group thing. Because I'm vice president of the Pokemon Go official group page. Give me a second. There we are. People put graffiti and messed up the fountain. And the bathrooms at Indian River Park. I mean, 
Well, the bathrooms probably get messed up all the time. That probably wasn't even Pokemon related. Unless they drew a Team Valor or Team Mystic or Team Instinct symbol on the bathroom wall. But, um... The fountains? Really? You mess up other people's fountains. And yes, I know I'm ranting, but... It's like most of us are saying. It's the 5%... Messing up for the other 95% of us. I mean, seriously. Who would do that? What are we? Are we in kindergarten again? I know this game is... It's preference towards kids, but also, there's a lot of first geners like me. Who love playing the game. Literally, we all saw the video, the Indian River Park meet. Check it out in the description below. See how many people were there. That was till, like, I left there at, like, midnight, but there were people camping out there. And it was awesome. So many people having fun, doing all that. And now a 5% majority has fucked it up for the rest of us. I'm sorry I'm using cursed words in a Pokemon video. I honestly, that's the only thing, I, that's how I feel. Be a little bit mature about the game if you're older, because we know little kids weren't messing up the fountains and all that. We all know that. They're probably adults, because it takes some adults or at least teenagers to do that type of stuff, and... Most teenagers, unless they live around that area, aren't going to be out of that park that late at night because most of them have curfews. And I know what I'm saying, but I got to think here. The parents must have, have done something about the curfews and that with this new game coming out. So, I'm going to leave it at that. Continuing on. There have been new ways to cheat in Pokemon Go. And yes, when I say leave it at that, I mean completely change the subject. Pokemon Go, there have been new cheat ways. For example, apparently there's a way to use a Google fake load fake GPS thing to type in coordinates of Pokemon and bring them straight to you in your own living room. Like no one thought of that before. But seriously, it's a tricky thing to do, but it all depends on the app you're using to locate the Pokemon's accuracy. I'm not saying it's a good thing to do because that completely def defeats the purpose. Unless you're literally bedridden, get up! Use your legs! This game is to, supposed to get you outside, talking to people, communicating. Not to let you be another lazy ass Pokemon geek in a room. I'm sorry, I used to be one. So, I'm honestly. Back when the Pokewalker came out during Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I was thrilled. I was outside so often, and then they eventually burnt out. But this game has gotten so many people outside. I mean, it's insane. But people are cheating to do that. I mean, seriously. If there's a Pikachu, like, in another, in another state, you don't need it. If you need, if there's a Pikachu maybe a few blocks away, you can walk. It's not that hard to walk. If you miss out on it, there'll be more Pikachu. That's the part about making this game fun. And if you do it with legendaries, I mean... 
Mewtwo, Zapdos, Articuno, Moltres, if you do it with those guys, I mean, seriously, people. That's going a little bit far, don't you think? It's all about going out there and meeting people. That's what Pokemon Go is about. Stores even are getting involved with it. For example, okay, for example, um, in the mall, and I mean the Treasure Coast Mall and Gentian Beach, not a lot of Pokemon, one gym controlled mainly by Team Mystic, not a great, not a great place to hunt Pokemon, I'll admit. But of course, it's Indian River Park, not that close, not that far from it, so it works out. But over at the mall, a store called Echo, and I love this store, it's wicked. I got this, an Aerodactyl, it's a plushie, yes, I know. I'm a dude and I got a plushie, at my age. But, for all you haters out there, truthfully, first gen was something really big to me, and... Aerodactyl was my favorite fossil type. And when I got him in game, it was amazing. But that store, it's an anime store. To all of you who may know it, comment down below. But I got 10% off of this. Just for just for catching one in game. They're doing sales on Pokemon toys. For catching them in game. I mean, that's amazing. There's so many things that you do. I just realized I'm not even wearing my hat. And it's not a big franchise store in that. In fact, it's a, sm it's a pretty small, locally owned store. That does that type of stuff. There's one in Vero, there's a few in other places, but it's not, it's just a big, it's just a big, not that big store. Blah, blah, blah. But, I gotta admit, ever since the game came out, literally, everyone in that store plays Pokemon Go. Other stores, for example, there's a sushi restaurant in Orlando. Like, 12, for level, um, I think with 5, they were doing a free drink. Level 12, they were doing a free sushi roll. California roll or something. And then continuing on, all the way to level 50 for a free sushi for a year. Problem is, there's a level cap right now at level 40, which they didn't know about till the info was dropped a while back. So, yeah. That person who's trying to reach level 50, I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. At least not right now. But the point is, businesses are even getting in on this. So, point is, what I'm trying to say. There's so much good this game is doing. It's boosting, it's boosting up businesses. It's getting kids and other people outside exercising while they just think they're playing a game. And I mean, seriously, what are the downsides? Yes, they've been vandalism a few times. From immature people who need to grow up. Now I know that's the whole point of Pokemon. You're not supposed to grow up. You're supposed to be a Pokemon master in that. Well, you can grow up to some extent, at least. I mean, seriously. Vandalism and that gotta stop. These are cool. I gotta admit, the perks that stores are doing, that's cool. The fact that, um, I've seen a spike in the stuff over at FYE and that, also. 
Pokemon stuff over there is going up. Truthfully, there's been a lot of stuff I've been seeing going up. For example, Five Nights at Freddy's. A huge boost currently. And it's insane. Speaking of Five Nights at Freddy's, we'll be doing a video on that in a moment. But, yeah, that basically covers what I wanted to talk about in Poke Talk today. I showed you guys my current team and a good amount of what I caught. I have a total of 85 Pokemon, sorry, 86 Pokemon in my Pokedex. I've caught everything I've seen. And basically, that's it. I would show you all my Pokedex right now, but I'm running low on time, and I know you guys don't want to hear me go on another rant about this. But, basic points, vandalism got to stop. Stories are awesome for doing what they're doing. They're actually... They're, I won't say they're taking advantage of it, even though that is what they are doing, but... They're also supporting it in a way. I'm trying to figure out a word for it. But yeah, they're supporting the game. And I really appreciate that. Because as a YouTuber, this game is fun to play and to share with all of you. And I get to see so many cool people and get out of the house so much. Well, not currently because I need to find a job. But I get to go out and meet people I've never met before or probably never would have talked to before. And actually find things in common with them. It's so cool. So I want to thank all the stories that are doing those perks and that for people with the game. I want to also bring up the fact that if you are too lazy to walk and look for Pokemon, don't cheat. Just put it off for a day and then go look. I mean, seriously, it's messed up. As a gamer myself, or even for gamers like you guys, we can all agree that it's a bit messed up that people are cheating at a Pokemon game. And I know what I'm saying, I know people cheat at those all the time, but on a game of this magnitude, where we get to actually go out and look for Pokemon, that Cheating on something like that, it just it leaves you empty a bit. So, yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, leave a like. Comment down below if you're new. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're always looking for new people to join the Blood Moon Alliance. And, oh yeah, before we end this off, totally off-subject thing. World of Warcraft Minecraft Survival might be cancelled. Long story short, the server went down and it's, it's a mess. But anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll keep you guys updated and later peeps. Bye!